But nothing else in our lives inspires as much emotion, enjoyment, personal commitment on such a grand scale. The Olympics, World Cup football, the Six Nations, the Ashes, all household names that span the globe. Men and women of every ethnic, cultural and religious background gather together for these events forming rivalries and comradeships with equal passion. Nothing unites a nation like these events. They're the subject of news, magazines and conversations from beyond the playground and the pub. They impact on our day-to-day -day lives. They change the way that we think about our lives. It was Martin Luther King that once said, I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the colour of their skin, but by the content of their character. Nowhere should this be more possible than on the field of sporting achievement, from the local club to the international arena. But despite this, our great sporting endeavours have been overshadowed by a poisonous hatred. It's time to kick racism out. <laughs> Uh, me personally, I've not experienced racism towards me, obviously, off other people, but and I've never experienced it in games where I've played in. But I've watched the England games where I think it was—I don't know what year it was—but when Sean Mike Phillips and Jermaine Defoe they were getting, I think it was monkey chants at them. And if I'm being honest, I wouldn't like that. It ruined the occasion that it meant to be an honour to play for your country, but I, don't, I think it'd be horrible rather than an honour. Well, obviously, it's and like I think my, me personally, I think it's nasty towards other people. I think, like I've just said, it'll ruin the occasion that you've meant to be your best occasion in your life. So anyone that can do that to you shouldn't really be at a football match or any other sporting event or anything like that. Oh, 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 I've had quite a few experiences with racism. Uh, growing up as a kid in New Zealand, there's a lot of racism around um, our country. Uh, We've uh, been judged by the colour of our skin. There's been uh, name calling. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of uh, harsh names that, that have been going around. But as we um, as we grew up, we sort of grow out of that, and we start looking at how how hurtful it hurts people, and and we sort of um, realise that it's not very good to be racist or really treat people in the, in the way that it should be treated. It's kind of hard to to say what kind of racist racism there is in our in our sport today.
my views on racism. Uh, I think it's it's definitely slowing down in our in our economy today, where um, people are trying to eliminate the bads of racism. They're trying to come to a solution on how to eliminate such a bad thing in our country. I think um, just looking at our role models today, our sports stars and our yeah, our role models, I guess. Um, if we live by their expectations of how people see them and how they live their life and how they always um, keep themselves positive and keep themselves uh, true, I think uh, treat people how they want to be treated, I guess. So like a footballer, he goes down to a certain half of the pitch and he's sort of like had no monkey noises made at him and it's just so sort of like bananas thrown at him. It's just don't see the point. I don't see if people find it funny or just actually trying to be a racist. But uh, it's sort of like also there was the incident with Lewis Hamilton as well. But um and it's very rare in the UK. Because last time, I think in this area, someone got kicked out of, got banned from Barrow Raiders and for AFC. It was four years ago, so it's quite a rare incident. And also, I find racism in sport disgusting. I mean, in our country, it's it's not tolerated, but like in other countries like Spain and Germany, they allow it in some cases, which I personally think it just shouldn't be allowed. I think every sport should be allowed to be played in every country, no matter what race the person is, no matter what gender. And, well, sports was made for everyone to have fun, not for people to be discriminated against. Well, uh, I didn't have much experience for the racism-wise, but I have one, maximum two incidents when I passed when I played cricket in here. Actually, not, not from Barrow area, from Lancashire. And uh, it's on, it's something happened for on the field. Once it was happening on the field for the game, we played against South Africa and against me. The Usually, in the past, not many Sri Lankan players are playing uh, this league level, but after sudden, you off the field are very friendly. Just have a, just taking words. That's it. Not for any more uh, like a serious thing. But uh, we all respect each other as a pros. Or like a, like I said to you before, uh, it's very hardly saying race. No trouble at all for me for the racism. Some other areas a uh, bit more. Uh, like example, like when you go to the Yorkshire, you have a lot of Asian people lives there. When you when you go to Lancashire, some other place like uh, Liverpool, you know, it's hardly find the Asian uh, people. But it's uh, it's depend on the what kind of what kind of area you live, what I, what kind of place you are playing cricket. Most of the time, if you players, uh, it's atmosphere they love to come and watch the players are playing. Uh, the, the good, good thing is Asian are coming up through now in England and play play cricket. The people know each other after they were respect each other, you know. Uh, that's, a, that's a good thing. White people are very good sometimes, you know, they are, they are respected very well. So we enjoy it, I enjoy it. A lot of Asian people I enjoy it. Used to be, I told you earlier, uh, used to be very hardly find like Asian people to come and play cricket in this country. And uh, now, lot, now you, these days are a lot more upcoming through in Asian wise, Indian, Sri Lankan, and Pakistans. And uh, people are respect each other more than rather than in 30, 40 years ago. It's my point of view. I am always think that uh, 
racism that's a word i don't i'm not giving word because i am like for respectable respect is most important for the person human beings uh, are most important for the respect to each other when you go whatever place like anywhere the world now however sport is fighting back no person should be judged by anything other than the content of their character and their skills it's time to kick racism out